Susie Brighton, and I'm here to tell you about the first journey that I made to Sedona and to this very sacred site called Cathedral Rock here in Sedona. The first time I came, my son had moved here, and it was 20 years ago, and he'd been here a couple months, and he mentioned that he had gone hiking in Boynton Canyon, and he went meditating, tried to meditate, and I just felt this pull in my belly that I had to go there, and I had no idea why, and a lot of people come here not knowing why they're coming here, and they don't know what to find here or what they're going to experience here. And a lot of people make fun of the people who come here because they don't understand that this is an incredibly sacred land. And that it was so sacred that in the bowl of where the city of Sedona and the people live now, none of the Native Americans lived there. They lived outside of the, the bowl, and they lived in Oak Creek Canyon and other places outside of that area. But that's where it, these energy lines come together in... Um, in uh, England, they're called um, ley lines, and they're, they're kind of like the meridians, the energy meridians that the um, acupuncture and the orientals know about that are in our bodies. And, and there are certain places where energies cross and then the energies spiral. And so um, that's what this area is like. And in England and other places, there are major rivers of energy flowing where Chartres Cathedral and other places are put onto those energy lines and, and where um, Rome is, where, or where the Pope is. That was an ancient sacred site before uh, it was uh, then, you know, turned into what it is now. And so this is one of those sacred sites and there's a man who gives tours here and he calls this America's Holy Land. And so um, when I first came here 20 years ago, I didn't know where I was going to go and who I was going to be with, but I was guided to all these different places and all these different groups and all these different people and to buy this book and to go to this place and early in the morning to get up, you know, five, six o'clock in the morning and head out to all these different vortexes again and again and again. And so I did that and then one of the places I went was on to what was called Rachel's Knoll. It's now closed in private land, but at the time it was open. And, um, and all these people came for what was a blue moon ceremony. And that's the second moon in the month. It's called the blue moon. So all these people came and it was a spontaneous ceremony with different people playing, singing, you know, uh, saying poems or whatever, whatever happened. And then this Aborigine was there from Australia and he had a didgeridoo. And he played this didgeridoo and said, I'm gonna play a message for Mother Earth that had me in tears, and I didn't know why I was in tears at the time, but I just felt like I have to tell the people, but I didn't know what it was I was to tell the people. And so I've gone through enough changes and growth now and finding out more about the spiritual awareness and, and um, information that now I know that I'm to tell the people that the earth is a very, very sacred place, and she and everything else are alive and have consciousness. And so the native peoples are in touch with all of those, these consciousnesses everywhere. And what's happening to people in the world now is that suddenly they're becoming aware of these consciousnesses that are everywhere. That some people are learning to talk to trees. Other people are communicating with animals. Um, some people uh, talk to and, and communicate with the rivers and, and so on. And so, and, and Pete Sanders is a, an MIT scientist and he, uh, he does vortex tours here, and he teaches people about the upflow energies and the downflow energies, and what exactly they do to our consciousness and help us to connect to this spirit that lives everywhere in all things, this consciousness, spirit of all things. And so when I came here the first time, I was coming down this windy road coming to here, when I rounded a bend and there was this huge rattler, and the rattler, um, I slammed on my brakes so I wouldn't hit it and then realized that somebody could hit me and I inched forward and, and then I realized, oh, thank goodness I didn't hit it because I didn't want to kill anything, even a rattler. And then I got this word and this thought, snake means transformation. And I was certainly going through this transformation of my consciousness and, and my awareness of, 
these other realms that exist all around us. And, and so when the very last time I came here, I was up the, the river a little ways from here, which you, we'll show you after this. And I was um, sitting there for about an hour about on these rocks, these magnetic red rocks with crystals underneath this whole um, area. And, um, and magnetic energies coming from, electromagnetic energies coming from this air in these rocks. And so I was uh, sitting there and had this urge to go down by this little waterfall. And I found myself taking off my shoes and my socks, and I was just following these urges that were coming to me. Taking off my shoes and socks, putting my feet in the snow melt water, and then, um, which, which was very cold, and then I had this urge to take the water on my fingers and make symbols on my forehead. And then I found myself dedicating myself to serve humanity. And suddenly I saw Jesus and Mary and all of these angels. And so all the way here from Portland when I drove, I saw double and triple rainbows and I knew something special was going to happen. And so this to me, was my triple rainbow ending because I've always had this very deep love and connection um, with Jesus. And, um, and so to see Jesus and Mary and the angels in this doorway that's here, that's what, that's what this is all about. This is a, a doorway uh, where the energies are higher in vibration and so it enables you to have incredible experiences here. And um, so I'm just here to share my story, especially of this most wonderful place, one of the ten most photographed places in the world, and to invite you to come to Sedona, to invite you to experience what's here. And as I, as I did um, a little healing on a woman um, who was visiting from Colorado the other day, she, her husband had asked her, why do you come here? You know, what, what's here? And she said, this is a place where people who are broken come to heal. Well, it's also a place where people want, who come, who just want to experience this divine presence, these divine energies, these higher energy fields. So I invite you to come, and thank you so much.